Hi everybody, today I wanted to show you my garden gate stall, which is where Cloudberry Flower started seven years ago. We took apart one of the kids' wardrobes inside the house and my husband Robert built this stall for me and it's been brilliant. Lots of local customers come for their flower jars or their jewellery or their greetings cards and it just sits inside my driveway in Peebles and it's open every day of the week from 10 in the morning till 5 at night and I just keep stocking up throughout the day with newly cut fresh flowers from the garden and today they smell absolutely gorgeous. We've got the first sweet peas in here. We've We've got the alliums, they've come out, sweet rocket, ranunculus, anemones. Let's have a closer look at the stall. I love making up flowers for the stall. A jar of flowers can cheer somebody up if they're not feeling well. It can be a really nice present for somebody's birthday. It can be a thank you. It can be a teacher gift at the end of term. Or it can be just a treat for yourself to have some beautiful sweet smelling flowers on your kitchen table. I have different sized jam jar posies that I do and you can see this is one of them here it smells absolutely gorgeous today it's got some alliums in it some sweet peas some anemones some ranunculus it smells gorgeous I also make um, larger bouquets and larger jam jar arrangements as well which you can order from my website throughout the growing season and normally the growing season starts off in April and it runs right the way through to the first frost which is normally in October for us here in Peebles. Over the last few years I've enjoyed creating some handmade gifts using the flowers that I've grown in my garden and I've started to dry and press them to make them more everlasting. I make biodegradable confetti for weddings and events. I've started making jewelry with my flowers. I make mini hanging pressed flower frames and I make pressed flower cards as well. My jewelry I started a couple of years ago now. I wanted to be able to do something with my flowers that they would last all year round rather than just in the growing season. So I came up with the idea of making some jewelry with pressing my flowers and using a resin base with a silver chain on it and these have turned out really nicely and I really enjoy making them now. So you can also buy them on the website and they can be sent worldwide and you can also have a look here on the stall and pick up something for a friend or a relative or just treat yourself. I use all sorts of flowers that I grow to make my jewellery. They have to be tiny enough that they will work in a necklace or in a pair of earrings or a brooch. I use things like forget-me-nots, heather, amimagis, dorcas, anything that I can find that's nice and small. My daughter Kirsten has also started her own wee business now. She's 14 and in lockdown she got a kit to start painting rocks and ever since then she has been making a few to put on the stall as well and she's got these lovely tic-tac-toe bags which come with 10 of her painted stones for you to play a nice game with. These are such a great eco-friendly present because they are varnished so they will last a long time whether you take them inside or outside and they're not plastic and um, they're just rocks that have been painted really nicely and I can show you them here. So this is one of her cows that she has here and this is one of her sheep that she has. So they're great. I have my own greeting cards which you can buy from my website but they're also available here on the stall and they are just lots of my favourite pictures of my flowers. It might be bouquets or it might be pictures from the flower patch and sometimes it's really nice just to have a pile of blank cards at home ready to send to somebody when you need them. I really enjoy taking pictures of my flowers in the garden and my bridal bouquets or any nice bouquets that I've made for a customer. The challenge is always finding enough time on a wedding morning to take some nice photographs. And here's my mini pressed hanging frames. These look really nice with a few collected together to hang at home. It's really difficult to choose a favourite flower at this time of year. I just love seeing them all come into bloom in the garden. These anemones are absolutely gorgeous. The alliums are always fantastic. Really like the ranunculus, but you just can't beat a sweet pea for that lovely scent that it has. What a difference a week makes. We've now got some lovely sunshine in Peebles and the flowers are starting to come out in the garden. It was such a cold long spring. It's really nice to see some hot weather now and let's hope it lasts for a little while at least here in Scotland.